Good morning, good morning, good morning, my fans, my viewers, my subscribers. Thank you for tuning in at this moment. And as I always said, my fans, if it's your first time on the channel, just come across it and you like the contents that you've seen, give the video a thumbs up like share comments and subscribe to the channel also tell a friend to tell a friend to go and check out bunny 7 uk and also my main channel my, my next channel which is drive bunny go and check out drive bunny uk peer driving video over there just driving video around the uk go and check out the channel and subscribe as well so what am i talking about today my fans I have met a lady yes I have met a lady and we was having a little talk and my fans I can't knock your belief I can't knock your faith I can't knock the way you think about life what you think about life what you believe about life and what your faith is about life it is your business but when I met someone and the person said to me that there is no God, you just get me hungry. You get me upset. Yeah. And I am saying this this morning. What are you watching, lady? Or you never watched my channel before or whatever it is. I want to encourage you personally and every other person out there. Who tell me that there is no God let me tell you something my viewers my friend my subscriber whoever you are I love each and every person on this earth and I pray to God that each and every person on this earth will feel the same way how I feel about love because if every person feel the same way or me feel about love we wouldn't have so much killing we wouldn't have so much hatred we wouldn't have so much um, backbiting and you know kidnapping and raping and all of these things we wouldn't have it because the love that me have in me Tell me plain that I couldn't pick up a gun or a knife or any instrument but to hurt somebody and go and hurt them. Because what me know personally, for you, if you go out there and take a gun or a knife or something and stab somebody, shoot them, lick them in the head or whatever and anybody and hurt them, that means you have no love. And you can't tell me that you believe in God. But I know, and I know, and I know that if you believe in God, and you have God in you, and you know who God is, I guarantee, I guarantee you would never pick up a gun and go and shoot somebody and kill them. If you have God in you in any way, and you believe in God, you would never take a knife and stab somebody and kill them. You would never kidnap somebody's daughter or son and go and murder them if you have God in you. And I'm telling you, I believe in God. To me, if it, there wasn't someone out there named God, I wouldn't sit here today talking to you. And it don't care what nobody tell me. One thing I can tell you, that Jesus Christ died on the cross on Calvary Mountain. He shed his blood for me and you. Jesus Christ died on the cross. He shed his blood on the cross for me and you. He was stripped naked. He was beat and then buried in a tomb. That is my belief. And no man can change that. But what? He never stay in the tomb. He was buried in the tomb. But he rose again 
from that tomb. Jesus Christ died, buried, and raised. And when Jesus Christ raised from the tomb, he gave me life eternal. He gave you life eternal. And only when you believe that Jesus Christ died on the cross, buried in the tomb, raised again, and give you life, that's when you will have that peace, that love, and you can talk like, oh, I am talking right now. I believe that Jesus Christ is my provider. I believe Jesus Christ is my way maker. He is my deliverer. And he is my problem solver. I don't know how you see Jesus. But I believe that Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the one that died and raised from the tomb, he is the one who provides for me. He is the one that changed night into day and day into night. Night into day. Jesus Christ of Nazareth put me to bed at night. Knocked me out completely. I don't know nothing at all. Because Jesus Christ is the one who put me to sleep. I can't put myself to sleep. Yes, I can go. Go lie down in the bed. Because God give me the power to walk, run, eat, drink. Without him, I wouldn't exist. So whatever I do in life, Jesus Christ is the one who allow me to do it. Yes, Jesus allowed me because he blew breath into me. He is the breath. Jesus Christ is the breath of life. He give life and he take life. And if you believe that, that Jesus Christ give you life and he take life, then you believe that Jesus Christ is for real. He is risen from the dead and give me and you life. And that's why I can sit here today to tell you that Jesus Christ is my provider, is my way maker. And anything I do, Jesus will allow me to do it. That's why I can sit and stand and tell each and every one of you out there that Jesus Christ has saved my life six times. As a seven time, Jesus Christ has saved my life. Not physical death, but situation that I've been into where my life could just wipe away and gone. But I am still here today to tell you that Jesus Christ gave me another opportunity and give me another chance to come a time as no to sit here and tell you that Jesus Christ is alive. Jesus Christ is alive. He was buried in a tomb, but he never stayed in the tomb. Jesus raised up again. My sisters and brothers, let me tell you, God is so mighty. God is so powerful. And you tell me that man take Jesus Christ to the cross. Jesus Christ could just blow, just click his finger, and every one of those people just disappear, and Jesus walk free. But Jesus done that for me and you. As an example to show you that he is a forgiving God. Jesus Christ is a forgiving God. And a lot of us, man and woman on this earth, were walking around and doing evil and manner of things. Jesus Christ has prepared to forgive us of whatever we do on this earth. God wants to forgive us of our sin. But we have to first believe that he exists. We have to first acknowledge him. And we have to accept him as our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And once you accept him as Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, go to him and ask him for forgiveness for the things that you have done on this earth before the sight of man and God. Jesus then forgive you of your sin. You becomes a born again, a child of the living God. So, find a church, my sister, my brother. Go. And until you go confess your sin to man, 
So go in your corner, pray to God sincerely, tell him your situation, and ask him for forgiveness. Then find a church and go to and have water baptism just like how Jesus Christ was baptized. Have a water baptism and becomes a child of God. And once you become the child of God, all the hatred, all the bad mind, all the jealousy, and all the hunger, they will disappear. You will have love in your heart. Then you will start to speak love. You will treat people with love and respect and know that you are a child of God. So whether you're the gunman, a knife man, or whatever you is, let me tell you today that Jesus loves you. Jesus died for you. Jesus wants to give you eternal life. So whatever you do, remember that Jesus Christ is your provider, is your deliverer, is your way maker, and your problem solver. So look to Jesus as your savior. Look to him as your provider. Another person said to me, God not do nothing for me. I do for myself. I go to work. I work and get paid. Let me tell you. No, no, no. You have that one wrong. Jesus Christ wake you up in the morning. He give you life in your body that you can go to the work. He's the one who provide that job for you that you could get it. Because he is your provider. Jesus Christ is your provider. And it no matter how you see it, and no matter how ignorant and dark you think you is, God is the one who will give you life. He same me give it to you, I say me take it to you. My brother, let and sister, let's stop run down what we don't have and find Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Because He is the only way, the truth and the light. Jesus is the only way, the truth and the light. And my sisters and brother, I don't know, but I get up this morning. I spoke to this lady a while back. And for some reason, I get up this morning and this on my brains. And I say, you know what? I just want to talk about it. So, as I said again, lady, I don't know if you're watching this video. I don't know if you recognize who am I talking about because there's no name. I'm not calling any name. But I'm saying that I believe that Jesus is my provider. The food in the cupboard is he provided. The pot go on the fire is he provided. The money to go to the shop is he provided. All the clothes on my back he provided. Whatever I achieve, the car I drive, the house I live in, everything I own, belongs to Jesus including my whole body God give me life and he take life he provide for me in every way you think so my belief my belief is Jesus is love he is my provider is your provider is my way maker is your way maker is he my deliverer is your deliverer Jesus is the light of the world. He give it and he take it. So no matter what you possess in life and this earth, remember my sisters and brothers, we cannot take anything with us. We come naked and we go back naked. We can't carry nothing with us. Even the clothes that we wear on the back is not ours. It's gone to wrap me in the dirt so my sister, Deborah, let us be thinking ignorant and think that we respond to ourselves. No, none of us respond to ourselves. Jesus, we, Jesus Christ responds for us. Jesus Christ responds for us. You know, you might believe, some of you might believe in what I'm saying and some of you might not believe in what I'm saying. But for me personally, deep in me, deep in me, no man can change my thought. I believe in Jesus Christ because he died and he raised again for me and gave me life. He gave me life eternal. So my sisters and brothers who are watching this video, if you agree, all I want from you is a thumbs up. Just give the video a thumbs up. That's all. Just give the video a thumbs up. And if you don't have Christ in your life yet, find him now. Believe in him now. And know 
that he is Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and get eternal life. Show love to one another, love one another, and let each one teach one who God is. God bless you and thank you to take the time to watch this video right out. May God bless you and keep you. Love you all. Peace and love. God bless. I'm out.